Oh, I'll go and do it now. All right, we're ready to get started. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay. I know we got some great, great uh, sponsors here. This is awesome. And, uh, you know, while you're getting your seats, I thought, let's have a little bit of fun and learn something. Okay, so let me see if I can hide that. Yeah, there we go. I'm hiding that meeting control. All righty. So let's just ask a question right before we get started. The question is number one. Can y'all see it okay? It says Parkinson disease is marked by lack of which chemical in the brain? So we got A, serotonin, GABA, C, dopamine, uh, C, and indeed norepinephrine, whatever. Yes, yell it out. What do you think? C, okay, everybody knew it is dopamine. And so that's perfect. Next question is how many Americans are affected by Parkinson disease? What do you think? 100,000, 200,000, million, 500,000? What do you think the latest, the latest stats are? This is for, um, this is for the United States. For the United States. Yeah, what's the question? What are y'all thinking? Actually, it's D. There are 1 million people. So you are not alone by any means. Okay, three. What is the average age when a Parkinson? a person is diagnosed with Parkinson. What is the average age? That's D is 60. 60 is the average age. And I can only speak for my husband. That's exactly how old he was when he was diagnosed. But as you all know, you have Parkinson symptoms way before. It is documented at least five years and oftentimes 10 years. All righty. So now moving right along. What is often the first symptom of Parkinson's disease. You got headache, nausea, shaking of hand, or turning of the head. Yes, and you are correct, it is C. I tend to disagree with this one a little bit, but they didn't give us other options. What's some of the earliest symptoms that somebody had? Just shout it out. Smell, right, smell. And the gut, yeah, the constipation, yes, yes, yes. Not moving your arms. These are all some of those earlier, earlier symptoms. So the next one, how is Parkinson disease diagnosed? Okay. okay, I'm getting a lot of B's out there. And that is correct, B, a neurological exam. Yes, they are now starting to do some little skin testing to help differentiate the Parkinsonisms, which by the way, just a little education for you, they have now identified initially when we talk about dementia, we think about Alzheimer's or dementia. Actually, dementia is an umbrella term, and that umbrella term is dementia, and one of the many different types of dementia, which are 107, is Alzheimer's, a Parkinson dementia, anything of that sort. They're under the dementia umbrella. Interesting enough, Parkinson's now has identified an umbrella. It's called Parkinsonism. There are 10 Parkinsonisms that we have under that umbrella with Parkinson being number one, but then there's a whole bunch more. So if you would like to learn more, it's on my webpage. So anyway, check it out. Okay, lastly, how is Parkinson treated? Okay, I'm hearing D with for both A with medicine and surgery. Yes, you're all correct. So one of the things of a support group and one of the things in our mantra is to educate and uh, I think you guys all did great. I know our sponsors are probably very impressed that this membership knows all this. So give yourself a round of applause. You guys are great. So welcome to the July GAPS, Georgetown Area Parkinson's Support Group. Welcome to the July meeting. And this one's gonna be really, really good. Our speakers came all the way from California to speak to you. And uh, they've got lots of really good information and some door prizes, of which I'll let them tell you about that. And then, of course, we have door prizes back there. I want to thank my Zoom team. I've got uh, Don Story and his wife, Lauren, and Deb. They're kind of back there. They're kind of helping send this out. Also, this will be recorded. So you can go back later and watch it if you would like. I have a setup, uh, AV setup team. Wonderful, wonderful. I've got Stan. I've got John Henry. I have Gail. So everybody, and it just, it, and then as you can see all the setup here, Patty's got a whole team too. So it takes a team to get this together. And again, if you would like to volunteer and help out, please, please let me know. 
All righty, moving right along. Door prizes. Did everybody get a ticket? Be sure you did. We've got great door prizes. Really, really good. You're going to be really surprised what Strive is going to give you, too. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's going to be an iWatch and an iPhone. <clears throat> so you want to be sure and get your ticket for sure, for sure. Okay, the agenda, as you can see, we have refreshments. We always have a social, and I encourage you to come at 2.30 for the social because by coming that early, you're able to meet folks. And one of the things we really want to do is to meet our new folks. So just with a raising your hand, how many people is this your first time to come to this meeting? <coughs> okay, I got a couple over here. Now, <coughs> So I would like some of y'all that saw the hands raised, please go and speak to them after the meeting. Help them out and let them all know, because you know what? We were all here that first time we came to a meeting, how rough it was. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I might have to grab some water. I'll get Patty to get me some water here in just a second. <clears throat> Our meeting speakers, again, are from Rune Labs, and we'll be introducing them. We are going to have exercise. Here. Oh, Stan is my man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, I'm just talking too much here. Okay. Thank you, Stan. Thank you very much. And also for our exercise, we've got Sun City Fitness, of which I see them already here. Beth and Allison, you can raise your hand. They'll be leading our exercise class, and it's going to be wonderful. And um, T-shirts. Everybody's wanting to know the T-shirts. This is what they're going to look like. But they didn't get here. I, was so, I called this morning to get them. And they said, they'll be ready tomorrow. I was like, tomorrow is too late. <coughs> but we're going to have T-shirts. We're asking for a $10 donation if you can do that. But I really would like everybody, and I will have them at our next, I'll have at our caregivers meeting, but I'm also going to have them at the next meeting, which is going to be in August. August the 24th is our symposium. So if you could plan on being a quick change artist, I'd really love for everybody from the GAPS membership, because this is going to be really big, uh, the symposium, to wear your red T-shirt. So it's going to have GAPS in the front and then GAPS in the back. And it's going to have incurably optimistic Just like what we are. <coughs> Just a little history. This statement, of course, is not uh, it's not a, 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 a brand. It's actually just a statement. But Michael J. Fox had said this many times. Now, as you know, Michael J. Fox's Parkinson has progressed. And as it's progressed, he still remains optimistic. But he says now his optimism is fueled by gratitude. Every day is a day of gratitude and to be thankful for something. And that's how he chooses. And so that's why I felt like it was a perfect thing for this support group and for us to continue that incurably optimistic because we are filled with gratitude for every day is a blessing. All right. So with that, moving right along, sponsors. Y'all, we can't do this without our sponsors. They help us out so much. And I want to thank all of my partners right now. And the first one, now they'll just kind of wave so you know where they are. I really want you to go by and say howdy to them. David Ott is over here. He's going to be representing Medtronic. But he's also going to be, he helped host Strive PD. And I'll let him introduce them a little bit, and you'll get to learn more about that. But he's one of our DBS reps. All righty. Next one is going to be Abbott. Is anybody here from Abbott today? I don't think so. That's usually Damon and Donnie. They're also a DBS, and I, I don't see them, but they're usually here. And the next one is Accorda. Accorda right over here. Antonio, there you go. And where, where's your other half? Kim. Oh, okay. Well, I understand. Anyway, Antonio is here and um, with Embresia, so be sure you talk to him about it. It is a, a great medication yeah, and it helps version of levodopa-carbidopa. All righty. And then our next one is Grand Living. They're over there in the corner. There you go. You got Mandy and Tiffany. And uh, they have a beautiful facility, Grand Living. But they've also been very, very kind to GAPS. And we now have our educational luncheons at the Grand Living. Very, very nice. So if you didn't know about the educational luncheon, so I'll be telling you a little bit more about that in a minute. But anyway, thank you all for coming. We have Boston Scientific over here in this corner, right over here. We've got Suzanne and we've got Rosemarie. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. And so again, another DBS. 
So be sure you talk to them if you have any questions. We have Abby. Abby was supposed to be here. And let's see. Oh, there, oh, there, Abby, oh, there you go. I'm looking at Duopa. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me, let me go back, doggone it. Thank you, thank you. Yes, oh my goodness. Thank you, yes, Abby is here with Duopa, with Duopa. I was looking for the Abby, thank you, thank you. And uh, this is Erin, thank you so much, Erin. We appreciate that. And she's gonna be hosting an educational luncheon coming up here too pretty soon. So thank you. Insight, Insight Tech, I don't see them here. They were going to be here. Kara Doctor with Insight Tech. This is going to be a focused ultrasound. So it's going to be very interesting. I'm still learning about it. Then we have Supernus. So Will is with Supernus. Allison wasn't able to make it, but he is just super. And he's going to be talking in a few minutes because he's hosting an educational luncheon, which is right now. So Will, if you'd like to come on up, I'll let you do it. These are the educational luncheons that I was telling you that are at the Grand Living. And at the Grand Living, it's an opportunity for the sponsored to actually give a branded talk. So, all righty, Will. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, hey, everyone. Can, they, can everyone hear me okay? Good. So, well, you know, first of all, thank you for being here. I know it's, uh, it's hot out there. So I always talk about how united this group is. And, I mean, this is proof right there. You know, it's just you guys are getting here through everything. Um, you know, so we're going to have a, a educational launch on August the 11th. We're going to have Dr. Stuart Isaacson flying in from uh, Boca Raton, Florida. It's just one more option for you guys. I always talk about, about, you know, when you guys come over here and you guys ask me, what's that? I'm like, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just one more option for you guys right there. So whenever another Parkinson symptom comes up, you guys don't feel like it's the end of the road. But instead, you guys can walk away saying, oh, well, hey, I know that that right there can help me out. Or that right there can help me out. And I think that, you know, that's the main benefit that we get from here. And honestly, you know, just I've talked about it before. You know, my grandma had Parkinson's. It's just a great benefit to, to be here, you know, and, and, and be able to provide that for you guys right there. Just one more option. So please come out on August 11th. It's going to be Dr. Isaacson flying in. If you guys have any questions related to Parkinson's, he'll be a great guy to, you know, go ahead and ask those and he'll have plenty of answers. We'll also have Joe and Sarah, which is Joe was diagnosed with Parkinson's a couple of years ago. Sarah is his wife. So you guys will get to hear, you know, his experience and kind of his journey with that treatment therapy right there. So we'll be more for the, from the clinician standpoint and also from, you know, somebody else that has struggled with some of the symptoms that maybe some of you guys have. And he'll be able to, to talk about that as well. So thank you. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you, thank you, Will. We appreciate that. All righty, we were trying to spotlight him and we were having a little difficulty and I was jumping ahead and doing all sorts of stuff. So, okay, so it's a free lunch too, by the way, it's a good lunch. So think about it and it's free to sign up. And you can see that for this sign up, we have it on our website as well as in the emails and newsletter that I sent out. So feel free to get to sign up for this. Now, I wanna make another little announcement. The movie, the Michael J. Fox movie. How many of you guys have had a chance to see it? Just raise your hand. Okay, a few of you have. <clears throat> a lot of people, because it's only on Apple TV, so you were not able to see it. Well, we have found a facility that offered to let us use their theater, and it's called the Oaks. Uh, they're another independent as well as assistive and memory care facility. Anyway, it's very, very nice. I've actually been over there to eat before. And they are even making a sweeter deal for us. So not only are they letting us use their theater, they are going to, if you go to the 10 o'clock show, you get to stay for lunch. And it is a good lunch. So it's, it's a win-win deal. But if you would like to see the movie, the Michael J. Fox movie, be sure you call the number that is, again, it's on my website and it's on the um, emails and newsletters call the number and sign up to go to this they're going to also have a 2 p.m showing i don't think they'll obviously lunch won't be available at that point in time but maybe they'll have popcorn or something i hope anyway just wanted to let you know that's coming up uh caregivers meeting is going to be on august the 10th and uh, it's at 2 p.m and you might think oh i don't want to go to a caregivers meeting it's going to be sad and and uh just kind of a downer but no actually there's a lot of laughter and fun as we all learn from each other. And men come to this also. So it's really, really good. And I've got a, a big group that comes to, we have usually about 
anywhere from 15 to 20 people at our caregivers meeting. So you're always welcome to come to that. Um, our, our mantra, of course, as you know, is to educate, exercise, and socialize. And so with that said, we offer on Mondays the vocal exercise, and it's we have a speech therapist on the second and fourth Monday is our speech therapist that we pay. The other Mondays, the first, third, and fifth is me leading you singing, but we also have Dinah that helps us with improv. Dinah's somewhere around here. I saw her a minute. There she is. She does improv. So we, it, there's a lot of fun in that one too. I got to give a shout out to a wonderful person, Bonnie. Bonnie, raise your hand up. Bonnie typed up all the lyrics for the songs. So now it's very, very easy to read uh, the songs and to just have a lot of fun. On Wednesdays, we have chair yoga, but guess what? She is on vacation in August, so no chair yoga for the month of August. But we will start back in September. It's a fun class, and we've got a lot of people in that one. Ping pong, ping pong, we are, that group is growing. Don, raise your hand. Don's back here. He's helping to get that one going. So if you have any questions on ping pong, we've got that. And again, uh, ping pong, you have to, we do it at the Georgetown Rec Center, so there is a minimal cost there if you're not a member. But you can talk to Don about that. The others are totally free to you. This one is also free, art therapy. We're going to start our art therapy. This is going to be on August the 8th, and then we're going to have it on uh, August uh, the, the 4th Tuesday, which is August whatever. But anyway, do we have a sign-up sheet. Now, i got to let you know, and this will be sent an email out to those that signed up for the September 2nd Tuesday. Our instructor now has had a conflict. So if we're going to only have it in August. We'll have it two times in a month. But in September, October, November, it'll only be on the fourth Tuesday. So I will be, if you signed up for, for it, and I will be letting you know that the second Tuesday will be canceled. But anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. We would love for you to join it totally free. Supplies are already provided. Again, this is thank you to all of our sponsors that help us out so much. All right, moving right along. Um, <clears throat> next month, instead of having a meeting here, we're going to have a symposium, and if anybody came to it last year, we had over 200 people last year. It was great. It's the Parkinson Movement Disorder Alliance. That's a national group that has partnered with us, and they're bringing their symposium, which is called Renew Retreat. It's going to be in Georgetown on August the 24th. It's totally free. Starts at 10 in the morning. We're going to have lunch, and then we're going to uh, go till 2 in the afternoon. Breakout sessions, there's a track for caregivers, there's a track for people with Parkinson's. But a keynote speaker I've just learned we're going to have is Dr. Maria DeLeon. She is wonderful. She is actually a, a young doctor herself and as a movement disorder specialist. And she has Parkinson's. So she has a lot to share from her pers perspective as a physician as a movement disorder neurologist, and as a person with Parkinson's. So you really want to come to this one. It's going to be great. Uh, all the information, again, is on the website, emails, and newsletters, so you can sign up. Now I'm going to call David back up here. David is going to introduce our speakers because, again, there's a partnership with Medtronic and Strive. So I'll let you tell them all about that, and you can speak right in there. All right. Thank you so much, Mary Jane. Um, as Mary Jane said, my name's David. I'm with Medtronic. And first, I just always want to give props to Mary Jane for all that she's done and does. Yes, we got to do this. Yeah, every time. 100%. So um, I've spoke before about um, partnership with Stripe PD. I think before I had spoke about that um, Apple. Hello? Test, test, testing. Is that better? Here, we'll get it really close. All right. So I've talked before about how um, Apple has released a movement disorder software in the last year, and why is that important? Well, there's been a tech company that has access to this movement disorder software, and I know that there's been several in here that we've been able to actually connect with and sign up to get a free uh, watch and iPhone if you meet the criteria, and they will go over that. So I'm very excited to actually have Amanda and Hannah that's going to be starting to talk here in just a moment. Um, and they've flown in just to go over the device, um, how the movement disorder software works, um, 
how if you meet the criteria, there's even the opportunity to get a free um, or be gifted a iWatch um, and uh, if needed, an iPhone um, so that this data can be collected. And actually, if, if you have certain movement disorder um, neurologists here, they can actually receive some of this data back um, and kind of complete the picture. So as we're getting everything set up here, I can go ahead and I'm going to hand this off to Amanda. So everyone, a round of applause, and I'm going to turn it over to her. Thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here. I came from Charleston, South Carolina. It's still hot there too, so I'm kind of used to this heat. No, we're based out of California, so uh, we're based in San Francisco. Um, and so we're excited to tell you a lot about Strive PD. Um, to introduce myself, so my name is Amanda Hare. I'm actually a doctor of nursing practice, um, but for Rune Labs, I am their medical science liaison. So what I do at Rune Labs is I actually train clinicians, nurse practitioners, doctors, neurologists, movement disorder specialists, and PAs on how to use our software, what data we can ingest, how to correlate patterns, how to review that data in a quick amount of time so that at your appointment, you can really get a good understanding of patterns and correlations and all the things that you've been collecting through Strive PD. Um, and so we think this is a great way to one, empower you to really take control of your symptoms and your disease. So we're giving you a ton of information back in the app. A lot of these things are collected just from you wearing the watch. Um, so there really is not a lot of uh, tech savviness involved. Um, and we are very excited that we have patient specialists who are able to walk you through um, and help you with this app, troubleshoot, tech support, anything you might need. Um, and so I think that that kind of kicks us off. Um, so I'm going to let Hannah introduce herself, and she will start our presentation. Hi, everyone. Thank you for bearing with me while I figured that out. It's going to get darker. It'll get easier to see, I think. Hopefully. We'll find out. Um, my name's Hannah Tim. I'm the clinical systems engineer. I live in New York City, originally from Minnesota, so a little bit different. Um, and I'm going to take you through the introduction kind of what our purpose is, what we're looking to do with Strive PD as a company. And then Amanda's gonna get you into the nitty gritty of what you can all do with the app and the Apple Watch. And then we'll have some time for questions um, and the raffle, yeah. All righty, so we're Rune Labs, but the app is called Strive PD. Um, you might've heard of it already. You might have it downloaded or you're hearing about it for the first time. It really is in two different um platforms there's the clinician side of things and the patient side of things that we're going to be taking you through so uh for us we believe that strive pd is the next generation of parkinson's care um, and it's a hipaa compliant data management tool a place where you can track all of your medications your symptoms uh, and share that back with your doctor hopefully it gives you guys a better understanding of what's happening with your symptoms and how your disease is progressing. And then also enables your care team to better guide some of those difficult decisions with medication changes, uh, if it's time for a DBS device, if you need a PT referral, everything like that. So fun fact about Strive PD is it was actually created by a person with Parkinson's disease. So Aura, she was diagnosed in 2011. Her dad also had Parkinson's disease. Very early on, she was highly sensitive to medications, had a lot of symptoms and side effects. Uh, and so she also is a web developer. Uh, that's what she uh, does for a living. And she didn't like the tools she had. She didn't like Excel. Oh, that's a little better, yeah. Uh, she didn't like Excel. She didn't like the legal pad she always talks about that she had to bring in. So she created Strive PD for herself to have all of those uh, symptoms, all that information in one place so she could show her doctor. Um, in 2018, she entrusted it to Rune Labs and we've kind of carried it forward to what it is today. Uh, she still sits on our patient advisory board with quite a few other of, uh, patients with PD uh, and they help us bring it into the next generation. Alrighty, so I'm pulling up this slide just to show you. Um, we have our physician partnership program. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more in a second, but uh, it's the two sides. So the app is what you guys will see. 
uh, along with the Apple Watch. And then your physician can see the same exact thing. It's just a kind of in a different format. It's on the web browser and the graphs look a little bit different. But if you're a part of that partnership program, um, what we really like is that they're able to see that data. So I know um, Texas is a pretty big state from what I hear. Uh, so you guys have to travel pretty far maybe to get to your doctor's offices. Um, so maybe if you're doing those telehealth visits, they can get all that information. You never even have to get out into the heat because it's hot here. All right, and then for you guys, uh, on your side of things, we wanna automatically record those symptoms on the Apple Watch. And hopefully that allows you guys to learn uh, from patterns and behaviors and help manage your symptoms, improve that communication with your clinician team and enable that care team to give you, um, to look at all your brain data and everything else and better guide those care decisions. So we're a data company, we love data, um, I know, uh, it can be scary to talk about, but we really want to focus on like four main things that'll help you. Uh, first, the electrophysiology data. So we do have a partnership with Medtronic. Uh, so if you have a Medtronic Percept device, that DBS device, we can pull that brain data that they uh, record and we can an and share it with your doctor and analyze it. Good news, you don't have to do anything. You just have to show up for your appointment. Um, and then your Medtronic rep will help you out and pull that in. If you don't have a DBS or if you're like, I don't want one, um, then we have three other buckets that we can pull from. So the Apple Health Kit data, uh, Apple Health Kit already has some really great features um, for Parkinson's disease that are kind of underutilized. We really wanna focus on uh, sleep, mobility, fall detection, gait and heart rate variability. That's also passively collected. You just have to wear the watch. You don't have to do anything else. Third is that movement disorder kit. So we created this alongside Apple. That's that objective measure of tremor and dyskinesia. It received FDA 510K clearance in June of last year. Um, so that is also passively collective. Just wear the watch and keep going. And then the patient self-reported data. So that's everything that you have to be involved in. So it's logging your medications on the app, logging any symptoms or side effects or activities. Exercise we know is super important. Um, and that is all on you. So I always call it a toolbox, use it as much as you'd like, um, support it with the passive data that you're collecting. Important to note here, uh, Stripe PD is right now only available on the iPhone and Apple Watch. I know the Android users, they're Android. Um, so with the Physician Partnership Program, we hope to bridge that a little bit. Uh, where if you're with one of our partners uh, out here in Texas, uh, we can provide you with that Apple Watch and iPhone so you can have it so you can still participate in the program. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Amanda now. Thanks, Hannah. So I get to tell you all the fun stuff of what the app can do. So we want to make this low burden. I think you've heard us say a lot, just wear the watch. It will do a lot for you. Um, but there are a lot of interactive things you can do with the app that I think are really important to mention. Um, so when you're logging a symptom, you can log freezing of gait. You're not going to get that captured passively by the watch. Um, you can also so log times when you have anxiety. Sometimes when your medications are wearing off, you get anxious. Um, you can log things like a headache even. Um, and so our app makes it easy for you to kind of click, log that symptom and rate it. You can rate it as mild. You can rate it as typical or severe. That way your clinician knows or you remember, yeah, this was a really bad time. Maybe it's because you started a new medication or stopped a medication. Uh, so we're really looking for those patterns and correlations. The one thing that I think we have heard from a lot of patients is sometimes it's hard to log symptoms. Is there an easier way? And so what we've done is we've enabled Siri logging. So Siri helps us a lot. Hey Siri, log freezing of gait. Um, and it's an easier way for you to log symptoms. So I think that's really important and thank you all, from all of our patients for letting us know that. Um, the other things that you can log are low blood pressure. So I know a lot of patients sometimes have blood pressure drops when they stand up. So you can keep all of that um, in here. You can log constipation. Um, you know, maybe you need to see a gastroenterologist. Um, there's other things. So medications, you can log when you started a medication. I think it's important to log as needed medications like Enbresia, when you take an, um, an extra dose, um, you can log that in for your clinician to look at. So maybe 
you see a pattern and maybe they want to adjust your medications. The other things that you can log is influence. So a lot of patients have trouble with high protein meals. They eat a big meal, protein, and then their medications don't work as well. So you can log that in to see if there's a pattern or correlation. And this is where we log activity as well. So we want you logging yoga and Parkinson's classes, boxing, kickboxing, uh, walking daily. So we're really big into fitness and we've really opened up our app a lot to mobility. Like we said, DBS, if you have a DBS device, you can log when you've changed your device, changed a group. I saw a patient today change their DBS device, which is so nice that you have that ability. Um, you can log why you did that or um, you know, certain things to kind of help you remember what was going on to report to your clinician. I know it's hard to remember all these things. So when you go to your doctor, there's a note section. So you can say, I was in the hospital, I had a pacemaker placed, or I had a fall, I tripped over my dog. Um, certain things like that that you can put into this app so your clinician has access to that. And you can treat it like a motor diary, really trying to understand how do I get better control of my symptoms? What is that pattern? How do my medications you know, react with my symptoms? Do they take my symptoms away? Do they cause other side effects or symptoms? And to try to kind of smooth all of that out. So our app can do a lot, like Hannah said, toolbox only, use what you need. The drawing test is a spiral. So you've probably done this in clinic sometimes. What this can show us is your speed. It looks at de dexterity in your hands and rigidity, so stiffness. So this can tell us a lot about how you're doing. So this is a fun metric. You can do this before and after you uh, take your medication to see how your medication is helpful. You can do this before and after a DBS change. So this is just another um, metric. So this is showing you the comprehensive activity streak. So if you're like me, I'm kind of competitive. I always want to get 100 on a test. I always want to make sure my streak is higher than, you know, my husband's. But we have to rest, right? So make sure you're logging yoga. You're logging um, that activity, but you can also log a rest day. So you still have that streak. Rest is important. We all know overdoing it is not great. And sleep is very important. So this is showing basically your activity in line with your tremor and dyskinesia. So how did your tremor and dyskinesia behave after you exercised? Uh, we know exercise is good for your symptoms, so it's important to see that correlation, and that's what's graphed um, up here for you. So we, again, have enhanced and revolutionized the way you can engage your daily routines. So it's very personalized and customizable. Let's not forget walking. Walking is super important. You don't have to do a formal exercise class. So the primary objective is to get you engaged and get you excited about exercise, show off and brag to your clinician how many days you exercised and look how good I'm doing. Um, and we can see those metrics. You may feel better, but when you see those numbers, it just solidifies all that hard work is paying off. And here's a little video about Strive PD. So let's see if we're going to play. This is Lily. She's 55 years old and was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease seven years ago. She had a deep brain stimulation device implanted last year and takes two tablets of levodopa a day. To manage her symptoms, Lily uses Strive PD, a powerful disease management tool that automatically records her symptoms from her Apple Watch, allows her to learn from her patterns and behaviors, and helps her improve her communication with her care team. Let's see how it works. Lily feels great in the morning. She logs into her Strive PD app and shares how she is feeling. As she gets ready for the day, her Strive PD medication alarm goes off on her Apple Watch. It is time to take her medication. Later, Lily decides to practice yoga and eat a healthy snack. She keeps track of all her activities on the app. While Lily goes on with her day, her Strive PD app on the Apple Watch passively collects her steps, heart rate variability, falls, and Parkinson's symptoms such as tremor and dyskinesia. Lily's tremor symptoms worsen in the afternoon, so she decides to log her symptoms. Before bed, Lily takes a spiral drawing test on the app to record her tremor progression. 
Lily checks the Insights tab at the end of each week, showcasing her passive and self-reported data. She repeats these steps for two weeks before and after her clinical visit. On the day of her appointment, Lily's movement disorder specialist, Dr. Park, pulls up her clinician portal to better understand the efficacy of the treatment she prescribed for Lily. Through the clinician dashboard, Dr. Park can understand Lily's patterns to help her optimize Lily's health. The dashboard summarizes all of Lily's data that comes in via the app, Apple Watch, DBS implant, and historical clinical data into different views for Dr. Park. She was able to simultaneously view local field potential data from Lily's DBS implant and tremor data from her Apple Watch to better understand Lily's symptoms. Using these clinical insights, Dr. Park made some adjustments to Lily's treatment. Lily continued to use Strive PD on her phone and watch for another two weeks so Dr. Park could see the improvements made. Strive PD, your care delivery tool enabling patients and clinicians to better manage Parkinson's disease. For more information on Strive PD, visit strive.group, powered by Rune Labs. All right. So hopefully that explained everything. Okay. Right, so I want you to hear from some of our users. Um, I know we probably have some in the room, but um, one of our users who was diagnosed in 2010 said, the fact that Strive gives you a notion where you can make a note about anything you enter was very useful. I could tell the doctor explicitly when it occurred and how long it would last. It was also a good emotional outlet to be able to talk about what was happening through writing. Dave, who was diagnosed in 2018, said, I realized I'm learning more about my tremors, how it works, and what sets it off. It's not regular. I'm learning about the external factors that might affect the tremors. In other words, if I sit down and watch TV or I'm active um, in the afternoon, the next day I go on a hike, how it affects the tremor. So like I said, that correlation between sitting and watching TV versus that activity of going on a hike. We're very excited that we're partnered with 150 clinical sites. We're in the US only right now. Uh, we have over 260 clinicians. So this is where I wanna talk about if you are partnered with a clinician um, through Strive PD, you are or can be eligible for a free Apple Watch or for a no cost uh, device and even an iPhone. Um, so if you see Dr. Peckham, Dr. Swallow, Meredith Hatcher, um, they are all partnered with us. And this is where you would sign up. We have some QR codes that you can scan. You can go to www.strive.group. Um, you can also email us at support at runelabs.io. Um, and we're happy to help with any questions that you might have. Okay, what questions do you guys have for us? The patients do. Yeah, great question. Yeah, so like Amanda said, it's all patient-owned data. You're giving permission to us to analyze it and then to your doctors to look at it. Uh, if at any time you're on Strive PD, you don't want to be a part of it, we'll wipe it clean. Uh, you just let us know. Uh, it'll disappear. Um, as far as partnerships go, we have quite a few different partnerships, both with medical device companies like Medtronic. So Medtronic pays us for that uh, analyzing of the LFP data for our DBS patients, and then also as kind of a warehouse for them. So we store all, all of their LFP data. Um, so we're kind of like a little public storage for brain data right now. We also have partnerships uh, with different biopharmaceutical companies uh, like Blue Rock and Supernus. Um, and so they pay us for data analysis as well and for those clinical trials. Uh, so we kind of, we're kind of a bad analogy. We kind of leech off those bigger companies who have a lot more money than us. Uh, so that way we can keep things free for you guys and for the doctors as well. Yeah. Um, so this is really, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. So he has Strive PD. His doctor sees it. Uh, he's probably met with Missy because I'm pretty sure she's our New York or Brianna. Um, one of those two, there are some of our East Coast patient specialists. He's still having trouble with it. We have quite a few videos on the website. Um, we also, if you contact our support, we'll send you a whole bunch of Zoom or Loom videos and you can watch them all. Um, and we also do a Strive PD support group. So every three months, we have a webinar-based support group where we go through the features and you can ask questions. So if um, I go to the Strive website, there yeah. will be yeah. leading me to it. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. Yes. You can also email us, uh, ask for the resources, and she can send you like all of the links as well, whatever's easier for you. 
Okay, can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> yeah, so great, great question. Um, so this is our website. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, so if you click the register here button, um, you'll have this registration form, pretty simple. It's how you heard about us, uh, either, you know, a rep, support group, um, and then this will list all of the sites. So it's kind of hard to see right now, but they're all there, I promise. And then you'll put in your movement disorder specialist name. But if you see the site listed, you're eligible. So it's like a site-wide kind of thing. I can't see what the site is. Yeah. So give yeah, me an example of what yeah. the site is. So yeah. So like, um, I mean, if we're thinking of like down, let's we go, let me go to Texas. You guys have quite a few down here. So I don't know, like Baylor? Um, me just being like, do you guys know what Baylor is? Uh, whoops. So basically a medical uh, yeah. facility. Yeah. So, any okay. medical facility. So Baylor college, uh, Mount Sinai. Well, say like here, St. David's. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you'll put in like that medical site. So say like you Baylor, if you don't know, you can always put other, um, and just say that you don't know, but you, as long as you know the name of your movement disorder specialist, we can usually figure it out. So. Um, one other question. When yeah. you say movement disorder specialist, I'm thinking it's like a neurologist or yeah. what kind of, so, okay, I'm just getting my terminology. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, for your terminology's sake, uh, you have like general neurologist and then you have movement disorder specialist. So they just decided to specialize and get really into Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders. Um, either one can be signed up with us. Uh, it just depends on who you see. So some of those bigger academic centers like Baylor, a lot of them just happen to be movement disorder specialists. But if you see a general neurologist, that's also fine. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is there is there a cost for the app? No, the app is free. So if you have an Apple Watch and an iPhone, you can download the app for free at any time. If you would like your clinician to see your data, you need to register through us so that we can put you in the organization. So each doctor has a different organization to see their patients. Um, so yes, you can download the app on your own. Uh, if you have a watch and an iPhone, start using it, collecting data, and just register with us so that we can get you in the right uh, clinical organization for your uh, doctor, nurse practitioner, PA to be able to see your, your data as well. So I have a question. When the, the app, when you register, an event that has started, does the app remind you later on to see when the event stopped? Say that again, sorry. Like for example, if I have constipation, I say I have constipation mm -hmm. right now. Sure. Later on, like five hours later, does it ask you if it's gone? It does not. It just marks that as a top symptom. So something that you've logged. And what it does is it goes in that timeline of a 24 hour day. So it can maybe be in relation to a medication you had, or maybe you're just tracking it uh, to make sure that it's not happening often. So it's not gonna come back and say, hey, did this resolve? Um, but you can always log that if if you would like to, if that's something that's uh, important. Okay, thank you. Sure, correct. You can do it on the iPhone or an iPad. That's easier. Um, you know, with the watch, you can still log. Remember, you can ask Siri. Um, Siri is very helpful, um, but yes, you would log a symptom via the, the app on the phone or um, iPad if that's easier. Yes. We have some tech savvy users of Strive PD that were interested in whether they could have access to their data direct. Correct. Um, we have done a huge initiative to that because I think that's so important for you to see what your data is. So we just released all of that data to users uh, a few weeks ago. And so you're seeing that tremor and dyskinesia data line. Um, right now we are asking for beta testers for a patient portal so that you're seeing the same thing as your clinician. So that is all coming. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback from patients and I think it's um, something that we're very committed to and that's very important. So um, it should be within by the end of the year that everyone has portal access. A great question. I have a very dumb question, probably. Uh, I was told by one person that I needed to keep the iPhone, you know, close to the watch so that it could, you know, download and blah, blah. And then somebody else said, no, just leave the iPhone at home. And when you came home every night and your watch was near it, it would do it, which is correct. Should I keep
keep the iPhone with me all the time like I do the watch? So some of the metrics uh, involve the phone, a lot of the mobility metrics. Anytime your watch is connected to Wi-Fi, it's uploading to the cloud. Um, so if you're not in Wi-Fi and you come back home and you are, you know, on Wi-Fi, it will re-upload everything. I think the best thing is to make sure that if you can keep your phone with your watch as much as you can so that we can get all of that data that we, uh, with mobility, that would be great. We want you to open the app every day to make sure that you're interactive with it so that, you know, there's less troubleshooting issues. Um, we were under the school of thought in the beginning before we you know, continue to build more features that you really didn't need the phone next to you, but we have run into some issues and it's more when that phone is in a bedroom that you don't interact with it. It's not charged. So, um, keeping your phone with you as much. Yeah. Is best. Thank you, boy. This, this was very, very informative and you're on the cutting edge with the technology for Parkinson's. And I want to thank both of these ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much for bringing this to us. Now, I thank you. Did you want to she has a raffle for I'm going to ask Miss Patty, Patty girl, uh, would you like to bring the, uh, did everybody get a ticket? Because if you did not get a ticket, now this is going to be for the iPhone and the iWatch, or just the Apple Watch, just the Apple Watch. And uh, how many people have an Apple Watch? Okay, a lot of people have one. Okay, how many people have uh, Strive PD on their Apple Watch? Okay. All right, so this is what we want to do. So I'll, we'll let them pick. Now, I want you to be sure and stay around because I've got some other great door prizes, really, really good ones. Last three. About to, okay, six. Anybody got a six for the last three? All right, nine, six. <gasps> All right. Well, there you go. There you go. We meet with these ladies. Now, will y'all be around after this meeting in order to six? That looks right to me. <laughs> anyway, they will be here so you can come ask them some questions. So that'll be super. So thank you again, ladies. Thank y'all. Okay. So now, stop share and share. Okay, I've got to ask my Zoom team back there. Are you, are, do y'all have it? Deb, is it on correct? Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, this is my official thank you to them, but they're already off, so we'll keep going. Okay, as you know, our mantra is to educate, exercise, and socialize. Well, guess what? We now have Sun City Fitness here. I've got Beth and I have Allison that'll be coming up and they'll be exercising with us. And do you guys want to be on the big screen? If they do, I am going to do a stop share. Wait, let me go back here. Okay, come on now. There it is. Uh, stop share. Okay, and look, we got some, we got some, we have some good folks here that are going to be uh, on the screen. All right, do you would you like to come right up here, madam? Oh, hand. Okay. 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 Well, well, the problem is they can't hear on that one. So I'm going to hold the microphone kind of under you. We'll work team effort. How's that sound? Introduce myself. Okay. Hi. My, sorry, blinding light. So my name's Alison. I'm a um, personal trainer at Sun City and I'm uh, also Parkinson's exercise leader. So I teach some um, Parkinson's classes there. So do we feel like we need a little bit of exercise after sitting and listening to that great presentation? Yes, okay. Options, if you would like to stay seated, go ahead and sit. If you wanna stand up and stretch, stand up. There you go, good. <laughs> All right, how do we feel? We need to move a little bit. 
All right, I'm going to hand off my microphone. I'm going to yell at you. Now, when you get up here, modify the shoulders if you need to. Climb a rope ladder and reach and reach and reach. When you get to the ceiling, stop and shake it out. Go up again. Stretch and climb and climb. Beautiful. From the ceiling, we come down. Nice work. Take your arms and wrap yourself around. Does anybody watch I Dream of Jeannie? Do we remember that oh, show? Yeah, Where we are now. So we're going to go from I Dream of Jeannie to ta-da. Nice. <laughs> Adrian and Jeannie, we're going to turn that way. So turn and see who's on that side of the room. And then we're going to come back to the middle. Ta-da! And we're going to turn the other way. Good. Back to the middle. Ta-da! And turn that way. Good. Back to the middle. Ta-da! And close. Turn to the other side. Come back to the middle. Give me big hands, big starfish hands. We're going to pull. So I'm going to grab you and pull. Stretch out and pull. Stretch and pull. Good. Take your back muscles. Squeeze them. Stretch them. Squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Beautiful. Hands open. Close, but easy. Thumbs, close. Put your hands under your chin. Protect your face. Protect your rib cage. We're going to punch the air. Don't punch anybody else in the room. <laughs> so we're going right side and left side. Good. Right and left. And right and left. And right. And left, I need eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, right side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right side, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, left side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Shake out your hands for me like they're wet and dry them off. Beautiful. Take them up to the ceiling and shake them down. Come to the ceiling and shake them down. One more, stretch up high and shake them down. Put your weight on your left leg. Make your left leg strong. Take your right leg and shake it all about. <laughs> there we go. Nice work. We'll do that. <laughs> Put it back down. Stand on this leg. Take your left leg up. Shake it all about. Nice work. Put it down. Take your hands up. Shake them. Take your hips up and shake them. <laughs> hands up and shake them. Hips up and shake them. Beautiful. Are we all awake now? Well done. Thank you, Allison. For some of you guys, you may or may not realize, but uh, Park Sun City Fitness has been very, very generous to GAPS. So generous that uh, if you are not a, and let me get this back over here real quick. There you go. I'll let you. Straighten it all up. Anyway, so if you're not a resident of Sun City, they have found a way that non-residents can also take their classes. They offer classes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and oh no, Tuesdays, Thursday, and Friday. Oh no, okay, sorry. One fifteen to two, yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I knew that's the ones we went to, but I thought there was the other one. I'm sorry. So, okay, so Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1.15 to 2. So if you're not a Sun City resident, come see me. 
and we can work with them and they are very willing to let you uh, come to the classes. Allison is one of the instructors as Beth is also fabulous classes, really good, good workouts as you'll enjoy it. So there is a, a small cost, but you know, just come see us. Okay, there's a cost even for if you're living Sun City, so no problem there. All right, so with all of that said, let me come right back. Okay, there we go. Guess what? We're at the door prize time. So door prizes, door prizes. Now, Patty has got a, quite a few of them here. The, oh, do you have that bag? Uh, there's that. Oh, that's all over there. Yeah, I knew we had a whole bunch. You must be present to win. So I'm going to go on and take it off of this, this one here since we got this done. Uh, oh, shoot. Come on now. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Well, hopefully everything will be okay. All righty. So ready for the first one? What's the first one we got here? Oh, yes. It is a nice chair, perfect for summertime. It, it was a donation from Baylor, Scott and & White. And the winning ticket is 720. <clears throat> all right, all right. 720. Ed won that one. All right, buddy. Okay. All righty, ma'am. What are we what are we giving this time? Okay. We have a nebulizer here. Something that just could put some humidity back into the room so it's not too dry. And the winning ticket for this one is 769. 769. All right, all right. We got another winner winner. Okay, be careful on my all my stuff there. Okay. And, oh, a candle. And that candle was donated by, Nick. oh, Sydney. Sydney donated that one with Next Stride. So it's a really good candle. What flake, what uh, scent is it? I wonder. Wait, we'll look at the bottom. I don't know. It's a lot of writing there. Anyway, I, I'm sure it's a good, sweet smelling candle. Seven, five, nine. Seven, five, nine. <gasps> a winner! there you go okay super i told you a good hey you guys i got some great prizes also door prizes for the august symposium in addition we're going to have a silent auction of art and we've got some other good stuff that's going to be happening so you're going to really want to sign up for this uh august symposium okay now we've got hmm what is that a large water mug. Let me see who. Uh, let me see who it's from here. This one came from chat. Uh, it, it's uh, what's it? What? Yeah, uh, Jolie Sanchez donated this. Chat. I can't even. Comprehensive healthcare advocacy. All right. There you go, guys. They were the donated. Okay, you ready? Seven, two, nine. Seven two nine. Seven two nine. Oh, yay! All right, all right. Hey, that's a perfect thing. Yes, whatever you're boxing, you have plenty of water. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's part of the Boston Scientific. That's some, some of the stuff that they, they gave. Oh, yes, thank you. They gave to our, our uh, health fair, so thank you so much. This is really cool. It's a cup that's an easy way to handle it. Okay, and the winning ticket is seven, seven, two. Oh, all right. Winner, winner. It's a hand. It's from them. They're all, that's all Boston. Okay. So Boston Scientific. Oh, we, we got ours back then. Oh, you brought, you brought one of them? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh wow, this is really cool. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, that'll be the next one up. Boston Scientific is over in the corner, so you be guys be sure and come see them. Anyway, they also gave a hand exerciser eight-piece set. Okay, ready? Seven, three, four. 
Oh, all right, all right. A hand exercise. Oh, I'll put it over here. Okay, and we're ready for this one. And it been. Oh, now this is from Grand Living, which is over there in the corner. So y'all be sure and thank them. Also, if they have any cookies left, you might want to get over there and grab one real quick. After after you help me put up all the chairs, remember. That's still part of it. We got to put up chairs and tables, and I appreciate all the help that you guys do for that. Okay, so this is a, a cool surprise. So, what do you what do you see in there, Stan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the winning number is seven, four, five, seven, four, five. Going once. Is everybody checking their numbers? Check your numbers. No? They may have left, so we go. It must be present to win. Oh, another opportunity for you. Ready. The winning number is seven, two, three. Oh, all right. Okay. Now, is this our last one? This is our, our last one, which is a, a neat bag to carry stuff in. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I know you guys have to carry stuff, too. Anyway, that's a good bag to carry it in. And you get a blanket, too. And this is from Medtronic. This is what Medtronic gave out. Yes. Yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Are we ready for this one? This one is seven, six, eight. Seven, six, eight. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, and current slide. All righty. So, okay, so I want to thank everybody again for coming and remember that. I do need your help to put up these chairs. We've got several people here that kind of help direct the tables. We flatten them down and we've got some holders for it. The chair holders are in the back, but anyway, we'll be getting that together and helping. But just to let you know, our next meeting again is August 24th. So be sure you sign up for that. And uh, thank you again for volunteering to help out. Thank you for everything. Thank you for our wonderful sponsors. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye now. <clears throat> and so I guess recording can stop.